Oh, God. Working on the dorsiflexion? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, dude, I'm kind of like squat into it. I got a problem on that. Let's go, Hank. You gotta go hard for the camera, I guess. Good. What are we doing today? It's all about the W for Weedtown Weston, South Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Eric, what you doing today? I got med ball and baseball throws. I'm gonna get off the mound for a minute. And then we got a, uh, I think, power clean day for lifting. All right. Oh, was a good day? What are we working on? Some drives? Some drives, baby. Trying to feel a little bit? Yeah, good. trying to feel it out. Eight. <laughs> 58. Strong. Okay, I'll see you, bro. Woo. Hot. Eric, I'll see you this later. Might be bad. This might be bad. Be careful, All right. <laughs> Not too bad. You just gotta relax your upper half and just be explosive with your lower half. Try starting with that ball behind your head already. Over Instead here. of starting forward and then cocking it back. Like hold it back as far as you can. Better. Thank you. How was camp? Good? It was great. You liked it? Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. It's just weird because, like, you get so far away from baseball, you know? Yeah, doing like, all this stuff. It's that yeah. stuff. Like, it's not muscle memory. Right. Especially if you haven't done, like, the Olympic list before and stuff, too. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely can be confusing, but you got to stay on track. It's so hot in here, dude. The lens is fogging up. Oh, Just really try to like relax, relax the upper half, and then be explosive with the lower half. Yeah, that's what I keep doing. I keep on overusing this. Yeah. Just don't, just don't think about how hard you're gonna throw it. Like, for me with those, I literally put my hand straight up when I was throwing it for like two months, and it taught me how to ride my trunk. So that I got to the point where I was like throwing like 38, 39s with that, and then you know when I switched to actually using my arms too, it went up again. Really. All right. Thank you, buddy. No problem. Yeah, better. It's all just the time you'll get it. No problem.
I'm like, I'm not gonna move through. Like I said, like, oh, I'm gonna do it. Hey, look at that. It's pretty good, man. Yeah. I just avoid kicking that front leg. Yeah. <laughs> when you come out, if you could just sit in your back leg a little better. Got it. That'll help a lot. So it's like, instead of moving down the mountain, instead of reaching out with that front leg, if you could do all you can to just stay on that back leg and kind of ride down as long as you can. Yeah. So, not only are you keeping more energy back, but it's going to be easier to drive when you do drive because you're going to have weight on that back leg. So with you, I would recommend, so we have what we call a force vector, and that's your heel to your knee on your back leg. Uh -huh. So it's like when you're riding down your mount, uh, the mound, you want the force vector to be as low, as close to the ground as possible, so when you drive, all your force goes forward. Uh -huh. So right now what you're doing is you're riding down the mound, and you're not bending that back leg very much when you go down the mound. Does that make sense? You're kind of going down, and you're, you're staying very straight with your back leg. Instead of getting here, and sitting into it more. There's just going to be more power. Oh boy. I like that stretch. It kind of sucks when you do it, but like afterwards it feels nice. It's funny, everyone does it with like their drive leg or they're stretching it, but I need to do it with my planning leg. Because that's just like... I'm stabilizing it and stuff. Like I told yeah. you before, like my hips just start freaking out. Yeah, doing it both ways. Yeah, both ways. As soon as you're done, hips open up nice. I just feel loose. I'm gonna start doing this like pre-game. You could definitely do that like at a field. not reach so much with that front leg yeah so pick that front leg up or that front foot up about like an inch off the ground or so yeah. and just try to ride it as long as you can without putting any momentum into it and then that's when you drive yeah. better better yeah hmm. so like less up in front yeah we have a lot of people that kick and so when you quick, not only are you transferring your energy early down the mound, yeah. but you're not going to have as much weight on that back leg to drive when you when it's time to drive. So think, you know, you're sitting in that back hip, you're riding down the mound, and then once it gets time to drive, if you don't have any weight on that back leg, you're not going to be able to yeah. get you. that hip through. It's just going to be a lot harder because you're going to be just rotating. There's no way you can drive out of that situation or that position. Oh boy. Yeah, you feel when you feel it right here, that's where. Right. Yeah. Right there. I know, I know you're driving instead of rotating, yeah. pushing the hip through. Just 
finish up some squats? Yeah. Deadly. Good stuff? Deadly. Heavy? Deadly. 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 Yeah, dude, my squats are... I love squatting, but like after I squat, I can't do anything. My legs start cramping up and stuff. Is it like real tight and the legs start shaking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your max? Um, front squat, 355. 355 front squat? Yeah. I don't boy. I got, I got a video actually later. And then back squat, I got, um, I mean, I used to weigh like 230. So when I was 230, I could do like 405 for five. But I don't know if I could do that anymore. Probably, probably around 405, 400. You're so good though. And you what, you're gonna be a senior too. Yeah, oh. I'm a senior right now, yeah. Yep. Looks like Hank's doing something cool over here. That's pretty cool. Can you like stop watching me? Give me some privacy, please. I don't need privacy. Hank's for the people.